Hey guys, I'm Frank Latella with Strength for Combat in Boynton Beach. Thanks for watching today. Uh, so today's video is going to be about improving lower back pain, assuming it has to do with a weak core. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to talk briefly about the New Year's Resolution Special, which is $49 for unlimited group classes. This registration ends December 31st, so there's only spots for four more people left. So whatever comes first, four people, if I get four people today, then the registration closes. So it's either four people left or uh, ending the end of the month. So if you are interested, don't wait for it. It's a great special. Next thing I wanna talk about, gift cards. Uh, we have gift cards that can be purchased at the gym or on our website. Um, you can get it for a friend, but you know, there's, there's no limit on the amount that you want to spend. If you're a Strength for Combat member and you purchase a gift card, for every $100 you spend, you get $10 back. So the New Year's special and the gift cards can both be purchased on our website, strengthforcombat.com. All right, now to the good stuff. I'm going to talk about two things that you can do and two things that you should stay away from to help improve lower back pain by strengthening your core. So the first thing is an exercise called bird dog or arm leg extension. So I'm going to demonstrate. You're gonna start off on all fours. I want your back to be flat and your head to be looking, uh, pretty much you need a neutral spine. So I don't want you to raise up like this because that's just like standing up like this. You don't do that. We stand with a flat back, neutral spine. So I want to be in this position. Now what I'm gonna do is extend my right arm and left leg. So I'm going opposite. Do your best. It's hard to tell because you can't see your foot, but try to keep your hand, your head, and your foot about the same height. The elbow and the knee will remain straight, and you're going to squeeze your core tight for two seconds and then return to the starting position. It's your choice whether you want to alternate going right, left, then left, right, or do it in a row. So let's say we do 10 reps. We're going to extend, one, two, back down, and repeat. Two, one, two, extend, and back down. Five in a row with each side. The next thing is a plank. Very simple, it is challenging. So what we're gonna do is we can either hold the plank on our forearms or in a push-up position. So I'll demonstrate from a push-up position. You want your shoulders to be directly above your hands, pelvis to be tilted slightly so the back is flat. I don't wanna to be too low or too high. I'm staying in this position while engaging my core. Squeeze tight, hold, hold, hold. Now every person is going to have a different amount of reps. Some people can hold a plank for two minutes straight. Some people struggle with 10 seconds. And that's fine. Since this video is about lower back pain, longer is not always better. So I would say hold it between 10 to 20 seconds. You should be feeling a burn, not only in your core, but in, in your lower back muscles, in your legs, in your shoulders. So start off 10 to 20 seconds, three sets with a short rest in between. Do that along with the bird dog, uh, five reps on each side, depending on your skill level. Now, a few things to stay away from. We're gonna stay away from sit-ups, okay? I don't want you to do any sit-ups. No, notice how the, the, the dog bird and the plank, my, my spine was flat the whole time. So that's what we wanna try and maintain. So the sit-ups, that curving motion, I don't want that. Another thing to do, regular, everyday life when you're sitting in your car, sitting at the dinner table, or more importantly, sitting at work, because that's what, if you have an office job, that's what you're doing all day, on the computer like this. Very, very bad. Posture up, retract your scalpula. This is where you wanna be. If you have um, one of those exercise balls, those big stability balls that you can sit on, that's even better, because you are actively working your core to stabilize yourself while you are sitting down. That's the best bet. 
but simply posturing up, shoulder blades back, typing on the computer, much, much better than like this. Also, holding a cell phone to your ear with your shoulder, that's not good either. 